Welcome to Dear Alice, a lifestyle approach to interior design. Before we get to today's topic, we first wanted to say at Alice Lane, we truly believe that you should have spaces in your home that you love and that these spaces should also flow seamlessly with your lifestyle. This can be difficult to achieve, so we knew we needed to create something for you. Our home furnishings design service. We have a team of skilled designers who will work with your budget, help you space plan, and, cu- and curate each piece down to the very last layer to transform your home. The most amazing part is this service is complimentary. Our designers are available nationwide and they'll work with you in store, in home, co- virtually, or over the phone. For more details and information, email us at designrequest at alicelanehome.com or you can call us at 800-423-7757 or click the link in our show notes. Again, that's designrequest at alicelanehome.com or you can call us at 800-423-7757. Back to the podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dear Alice. Today, we've got Sue Hall with us. Hey, Sue. Hey, girl. I'm Sue Hall, and I sketch better than I talk. (laughs) (laughs) I love when Sue says that. I know. She really is the best artist. And so if she can't explain what she's trying to say, she'll sketch it. If you think I'm ignoring you, I'm not. I'm just drawing it. Yeah. So (laughs) just wait for me. And she holds it up. We're all speechless. And then nobody has to talk. We just look at her sketch. Yeah, that's my that's my new tagline. I sketch better than I talk. I love Jim, it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Corey, <gasps> I'm Corey Place. <laughs> yeah, I don't sketch. I'm actually the worst artist ever. I my drawing skills are horrible. Yeah. I could but, take a class or two from Sue's. But what kind of artist are you? He's a musician. Yes, I, I'm a musician. But I also kind of think that, yeah, I'm like a pretty good visual person. Like I can visualize things in my head, mm. you know, whether that's yeah. like building things or, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I can right. see something like really rough and be like, this is what it could be. You yeah, know? Gorgeous. Totally. Yeah. I love that. And dreamer, a potential. And I'm Jess. I have great spatial reasoning. <laughs> 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 I feel like though I can see something and go, that's not going to fit there. Mm. It's too big. And they're like, how would you know without a tape measure? You're actually, I don't even know if it's guessing, but this has happened in our meeting probably the last like four weeks. You've either guessed like the cost of something almost dead on the nose or looking at something and guessing the measurement of it. Yeah. So yeah, I would say. Yeah. Adam always freaks out. He's like, did you know that? And I'm like, no, I'm just a freakishly good guesser. I don't know what that is, but. (laughs) I, I somehow just like have a feeling inside of me. Yeah. I'm like, no, it's not that. It's that. Yep. Nope. It's going to be 52 and a half or whatever it is. Uh, no, <laughs> anyway. you do have an inner voice. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that so I funny? trust Jess. Uh, there you go. <laughs> and so I always say agreed. <laughs> and I always, with Jess. And I always agree with Sue, which yeah. is why we have a podcast. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Agreed. And today's topic for the podcast <laughs> is ways to get your home ready for fall. Oh, are we ready? You guys, we, we record, we record the podcast weeks early, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so we're actually sitting almost to September 1st today, and this will probably air sometime in October, I imagine, but it is crazy that it's fall. Yeah. It's it's upon us. It's kids, crazy. Kids have gone back to school. That's the crazy That's the thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, wow, where did the summer go? Yeah. It's, kids are back in nuts. school. And I think when we think of fall, I like, I think of winter because I'm like, mm-hmm. oh no, fall's prefacing winter. But then I love fall. Yeah. Fall is just like the honey pot of Utah because mm-hmm. we have such great four seasons and we have trees galore and like it is just canyons. It's fire. Yeah. It is Beautiful fire here. canyons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. If you ever drive up Provo Canyon, you'll pass Sundance, which is magical. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then you head up to Park City and that is just like an opera yeah. of fall leaves. Yep. Nothing could be more incredible. Yeah. You get cold chills and you're like, I got to have a good soundtrack mm-hmm. if I'm going to take this visual feast in so that I can just like unroll my sunroof and blow through that canyon. Yeah, and maybe have a 30, hot drink. For 30 sorts. or 45 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. yeah. It's the best. Oh, it is so good. The air mm-hmm. is crisp. And when I think of fall too, speaking of school, I remember when I was like going to Utah State and getting my interior design degree every morning, like in the fall school starts every morning, I would like listen to the Today Show. It was Matt and Katie. I'd hear what they had to say. And then immediately afterward was the Martha Stewart show. 
Martha freaking Martha Stewart. Martha freaking Stewart in Bedford, Mass. And I she was just such a pimp when it came to just like seasons yes. and knowing exactly. Do you remember in the magazine, she would have the actual calendar depending on the month that was on like, what's Martha doing? You mm-hmm. know, is she planting bulbs or is she taking them out? Is she cleaning her gutters and, and mm-hmm. polishing silver? I don't know. Um, but I loved looking at that and it really like, gave me like a sense of, okay, this is the time of year. This is my to-do list. And so we thought it'd be so much fun to kind of like lay out kind of like what we think is like your next steps to turning your home over for the, for the season, for Mm -hmm. fall, for holidays. I think we're entering like this really beautiful season where we're gathering again, you know, for a long time. I think we're all still recovering, right? Mm -hmm. From COVID and not being with our loved ones for the holiday. And that was really, really hard. Mm -hmm. And so more than anything, I think we just want to be with our people and we want to feel something. We want to feel that feeling of, of the holidays. And, you know, we're, we're with our tribe and these are the things to get our space ready. Cause I think environment is such a backdrop mm-hmm. to all those experiences. Yeah. So, so yeah, I think another thing like with Martha Stewart is like, we've been talking about what do we want to do to our own homes Yeah, right now? We've been kind of like listing that out and that's what we're going to talk about today. Mm-hmm. What is fall? And what does that look like for you as you're turning your season over for this next holiday? Yeah. Roundup, so. Well, and speaking of feeling things, um, Sue was like, you know, what do we want that to feel like? Uh, one of our marketing team members recently went to a Pinterest uh, con- conference. Conference. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Blah, tongue twister. <laughs> um, anyway, they talked about dopamine dressing. Ooh. dopamine dressing. And that means that you're going to dress the way that's going to make you feel the best. Mm-hmm. And so we were seeing like a lot of really happy, bright colors post pandemic. Mm-hmm. We're still kind of in a pandemic, but when they finally said you can take your masks off, right. We kind of felt like that was post pandemic and we all yeah. started getting back together again and made a whole new pandemic again. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but we, we dress the way that makes us just feel good. We're so happy to be around people yeah. and we just finally want to feel good. We're like, done with wearing athleisure and we're getting dressed again and we just want working out good. (laughs) Yeah, totally. Some of us. Yeah. And so I think that, um, when we get ready for fall, I would say also like dopamine dress your, your house. Totally. Because you just want it to feel a certain way. And I often let that feeling guide me when I'm making decisions about what I want to do. For instance, for me, when I think of fall, I think of my porch. Mm. And I love to go and fill all my planters with mums mm-hmm. and I love the color purple. And so I fill them up with all the purple mums and then I get all the white pumpkins mm-hmm. and I layer them all over my porch. And, and like that makes me really more happy than an orange pumpkin, right? Mm-hmm. And so I think when you're trying to make decisions about what is what makes you happy and how do you yeah. want to dress your house? It doesn't have to be exactly what everybody else does. And it shouldn't be. Unless that feels traditional yeah. to you yeah. and you want to just guard that with your heart and be a traditional orange pumpkin person, right? Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, I have older kids. I could see having young kids, I want an orange pumpkin yeah. because that's traditional. But now that my kids are, you know, older teens and mm-hmm. young adults. Yeah mom gets to do whatever she wants. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I think I read this once like in Martha Stewart speaking of, and she said like, don't feel like you have to carve your pumpkins, you know, the traditional like triangle eyes with the, you know, missing tooth on mm-hmm. Jack Lantern. Um, but she's like, paint them, you know? And yeah. I'm like, I've always wanted to do that. Like, just you like, should. I want to yeah. paint my pumpkins because they'll last longer. I think that's what, when I think of dopamine hit, mm-hmm. that's what I think of. I'm like, I want to paint my, my pumpkins because I love color. Yeah, you do. You know, so it wouldn't make sense. You also for me. love a subject. So think love of all subject. the happy faces. Oh my gosh. To be living in your house on your porch. <laughs> that's so fun. But yeah. The porch, I think the front door, mm-hmm. you know, on your porch. Yeah. You love a magnolia wreath. I love it. I love a huge one. I've had the same big, huge one that I just keep like, you know, um, dusting off and putting out there every fall. But that big, huge, shiny green leaf with sort of that coppery brown back color. It's great. I think it's beautiful at Thanksgiving time. I oddly, do I leave one up at Christmas? Probably put up a natural. Do you have a I traditional wreath? I put up a natural wreath. Uh I think I go to the old Costco and grab grab a wreath. Yeah. So people can smell, but isn't that interesting? Like each so of good. these, as you go into fall, there's certain smells, mm-hmm. you know, I know like you're probably seeing a Starbucks pumpkin spice being introduced back. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan. Of, I'm more of an apple. 
Oh, me too. I'm an yeah. apple girl in the fall. Like pumpkin is. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's overrated. I do like my mom's Bath and Beyond, pumpkin I can't. dessert <laughs> with like Ooh. the yellow cake mix crumble thing All on the top. Butter. Yes. For Thanksgiving. Cheers to that. I like pumpkin pie too, but the pumpkin dessert is like the one pumpkin thing I love. Yeah. It's a lot of whipped cream. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, and the fun thing about fall is like based on your memories of like how you grew up, you know, getting ready for the holidays, you're probably going to do things that your mother did, you know, or like mm-hmm. the home that you grew up in had. And so I, speaking of apple, like I'm like, and Martha Stewart, again, she even said on her website this morning, it said bacon apple pie. And I'm like, gosh, darn it. I am going to bake an apple pie yeah, because it's fall. And that's, you know, that's what I love. So again, Mm -hmm. lean into that feeling, lean into the dopamine. Yeah. It makes you feel like you're alive too. Don't you think? Yeah. We like follow a feeling and then Mm -hmm. Sue has this amazing apple pie. She made it for me one year for something. I can't remember. I remember. Birthday or something. I love you. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is the most painstaking apple pie recipe I've ever seen in my life. But the most delicious. And it was beautiful. She did like the lattice top mm-hmm. on the crust. She even made the pie plate at like Color Me Mine or something. You betcha. It was I sure did. a freaking <laughs> gift of love. I felt like I should freeze it and never eat it, but Aww, I ate it. It was amazing. And you want to back to the feeling of just like this time capsule of fall as you think about what you want your dopamine hit, what your home should feel like. As I... I learned, I never liked apple pie because you always have like a big chunk of apple that doesn't have any of the cinnamon inside the apple. And so you get like, I don't know, Susan mushy. Ooganuga person. You, you have this like mushy thing. Cinnamon and I'm like, on everything. I, I do. Love I do. Yeah. I want to base it on everything. So I never liked apple pie until I went to Alabama and I worked for Southern Accents for a semester. And that's when I fell in love with Tom. Mm-hmm. I fell in love with Tom and we baked Charlotte Works was the guy I was living with that worked for Southern Living. And she had this apple pie recipe. Mm. So when I think of fall, like I do like fall, I think of Alabama also, Utah and Alabama. And I think of apple pie and with this pie recipe, I should post it on the notes. Yeah. You guys should cook this because you actually shred the apples. She grates them with a grater. And so they're little tiny pieces of Like julienne apple. apples, really. Oh my gosh, so and, good. Yeah, let's post it in And the then you notes. coat everything in there and it's just, it feels like love. Like it tastes like love and that's what fall is to me. And that's when I got married and I just love fall. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say this. Yeah. I've known you for 10 years and I've never had this apple pie. So this season <gasps> has to happen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, totally. Okay. We need to have Cheers. a Friendsgiving and yes. Sue will do the dessert. Cheers. Cheers. I got it. Okay. I love that so much. Okay. Um, okay. So let's talk about, um, we talked a little bit about Martha and let's keep talking about the home. Yeah. Things that we do besides the magnolia wreath and the pumpkins and the mums. Yeah. What else do you do in your home? My home, I think again to Martha, she would always like say, okay, it's time to like deadhead all your plants and kind of clean up your garden beds and clean your gutters. And it's so Okay, take it to the interior of the home. I think it's a great time to get your windows washed. Mm-hmm. I get my windows washed and I like clean everything out that feels like spring. I re- like my candle on my entry table. I take away the surf shop from Lola James Harper and I put in something like the Macassar Ebony Peach. I change out my candles. I think scent is so important, yeah. especially when you walk in. And we always talk about the signature scent. And I think that should kind of change from season to season mm-hmm. on what you feel feel like. So I think- just paying attention to your senses, you know. I agree. Usually what you're seeing, but also what you're smelling. Mm-hmm. Um, I think and it's such a huge part of fall. Also what you're listening to. I make a oh, fall playlist. Jess has the best yeah. playlist, guys. <laughs> yeah. They're so much fun. And it does take you back to that to that capsule in time. Yeah. Uh, what's it's what's great. do you are you talking like holiday playlist or like specifically no, for fall? Like specifically for fall. It's okay. usually just like it's not no necessarily like a Thanksgiving playlist with like mm. Charlie Charlie yeah. Brown Thanksgiving yeah. or anything. Yeah. It's just like whatever I'm really digging at the moment that's just making me happy. And I think that's another really, really powerful um scent. Mm-hmm. Or no, what do you Sense. call it? Yeah. Sense. Sense. Sense, yeah. So like you'll have the smell, you'll have the music, you'll have the sights Mm -hmm. and you just dial all those in, you know, and I don't know, you just have yourself a real good season. And it also makes you want to share it with people, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you were to bake that pie, you'd be like, ah, I got to get all my favorite people over here to eat this pie. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and you want to like put on a good playlist and light your candle and have people knock on your door with your magnolia wreath and 
enjoy your clean windows and you know <laughs> so random but you know like right before the oh, snowfall you need to clean your windows and I also love um new pillows not new oh, pillows but just yes. like grab my heavier darker mm-hmm. pillows um Suzanne was talking about the your velvet to your rest the what is it the we have this one the that has like rosewood yes the corded yeah. rosewood and I love that tone of that rest velvet mm-hmm. and as soon as I bring I take it away for spring but I usually will bring it back for fall and I love it so much and yeah. it pairs well with the wool Liebka ones I have and totally. I just I just love it and so I think visually you know you have your playlist you have your sense I think visually it's time to just kind of clean out all the spring stuff you clean out your pastel brights and you clean mm. you take away the cherry blossoms out of your temple jars and uh, you start to like just pull in you put in you your know. magnolias yeah you put in your magnolias or you start to forage you know mm-hmm. you go up the canyon and you just like there was this moment last year last fall Jess has this amazing yellow mohair chair in her entry and we were doing a shoot there and my tree was turning yellow in my front yard or linden mm-hmm. we cut all these branches and we put them in a big jar on her entry table and it was everything it was so 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 happy but it felt like fall so Mm -hmm. I think also just like putting the right kind of foliage that's going to make you remind people like the season Mm -hmm. you smell it they see it um you switch out your pillows like you said what other things do you do on the inside of your home like when it's fall quick tip really quick Yeah. yeah if you live in Utah this is probably like common sense for some people but the canyon changes like two to three weeks before yeah so you could go up there and get clippings from that. That'll last you a few weeks mm, and then tip. do, yeah, yeah, from the valley. Suze always keeps her clippers in her trunk. So that's a great idea. Y'all should yeah. just, really should. while you're listening to the podcast, go get your snips and put them in your go trunk. The Home Depot. Mm-hmm. So that you can just take a little Sunday drive and drive no, on up and act illegally. natural. Just <laughs> act natural, guys. Yeah. <laughs> act confident. No one will think anything. They'll totally. assume it's your property. Don't even wear gloves. <laughs> Nobody will even see you. <laughs> no. Or wear a, wear a construction vest. Wear a black and wear, wear, a, wear a mask. Yeah. Just, pretend like, just pretend like you're supposed to be wherever you're at exactly. and you're going to be good. Pretend Confidence you're robbing a bank. No, fake it till yeah. you make it. And then yeah. on the playlist thing, I was going to say. Yeah, what do you love? You're a musician. Come Away With Me album by Nora, Nora Jones. Jones. Oh. Yeah. That's like, my rainy day. That's good. Good. Yeah, that's my fall album for sure. And I'll listen I to it, love it from yeah. mid-September to Christmas. Dude, that was like circa mm-hmm. 2003 to 2004. And maybe that's why I like it because it just reminds me of that time in my life. But it's yeah. slow. It's jazzy. Mm-hmm. It's um, a little bit melancholy and kind of feels like mm-hmm. the weather. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So it's yeah. warm, but brisk at the same time. Oh, I love that's that. really good. I love that. I love that. Yeah, um, I think the kitchen forest. is a great um, spot to kind of infuse fall. Mm-hmm. Again, back to you, like you're obviously cooking a lot of the stuff like happens in that like mecca of the house, right? Your kitchen. But I think, you know, in addition to changing out all your, I, I think it's, it's time to get ready for entertaining. So you're mm-hmm. pulling out your silver. I think you can change your accessories if you have some floating shelves to like, what will you be entertaining with? chafing dishes, silver, pottery, you know, whatever it is that you're going to be pulling down mm-hmm. for those events. And so you look like you're ready. I like so, that. Yeah. Yeah. Your candlesticks on the table mm-hmm. and more of those traditional moments, yeah. right? Those yeah. sort of Ralph Lauren images in your head where mm-hmm. you just, I think layers are very much fall, both mm-hmm. for dressing your body and dressing your home. Yeah. Uh, we have a Ralph throw. That's just this massive, big, chunky wool throw. I think it looks amazing on the sofa and kind of puddling on the floor a little mm-hmm. bit and then loading up the other side with pillows. It is heavy, guys. I it takes like- <laughs> Yeah. I oh, put yeah. a few more layers on my bed um, just so that it's, you know, just so you can what sleep does your fall bed look really heavy. I, you know, it's always white. Yeah. Do it's you always change- white and oatmeal kind of colors, but like I might add, you know, a decorative like fur in the middle because it's winter. Yeah. Um, kind of uh, alpaca pillows um yeah. on like in front of my euros or something like that yeah. so what were you gonna say do you change like sheet fabric like if you do tensile in summer, summer and linen, then linen and- mm-hmm. I, I mean i re- really love like i'm sleeping on linen right now and it's hot outside too i mean you know we're at beginning of september so when this podcast airs it won't be but i could i could sleep linen year round but when it's really just hot like almost 100 degrees hot tinsel i mm-hmm. love it or bamboo 
is great in the summer and then the linen throughout the fall, winter. Yeah. The fun thing about, I know people spring. historically think linen for summer, but like mm-hmm. linen is beautiful because it has a cooling effect because it's breathable, but also has an insulating effect. Like it's a, the greatest magic trick yeah. when you get the right linen people. We have friends that are like, I hate my linen sheets. They're scratchy totally. and they got them from Resto. Yeah. There, if you get the kind, um, this isn't just a plug, like we've tried like Jess and I, we've tried all the different all linen them. sheets. Yeah. We've been and gifted linen sheets. So yeah. there it does like cost isn't even a thing. No, but nothing. We're not emotional about this at all. We just, we sleep in all of them. Honest to goodness. We the taste Leap Co. Ones, everything. Yeah. The more yeah. you wash them, the softer they get. They're not getting softer every time you wash them, then you have crappy linen and the flax isn't long enough. So yeah. I like the that. weight of it too. You too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Anyway, so treat yourself this fall. Get some linen sheets. Totally. As you dress your bed and get it all ready for fall. That's good. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the candles to prepare for fall evenings. I think it's fun to also like make menus so you can be thinking and also like figure out which holidays you want to attend. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like what you're going to make and mm-hmm. what your dish is going to be and you know, like yeah. we were talking about the apple pie and the Friendsgiving, or mm-hmm. maybe have a proper Thanksgiving with your family. Also, I don't know, maybe you have a yeah. Halloween feast or I don't know. There's so many reasons to gather yeah. in the fall and, you know, Christmas seasons. Football. I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Corey. Yeah. So I think it's just fun to try out some of these new recipes or the recipes you've always loved yeah. because they come with special stories like Suzanne's mm-hmm. apple pie. Yep. So I think just kind of getting your calendar ready, your social mm-hmm. calendar so that you can start to feel those feelings and totally. whatnot. I think it's like jeans and sweater weather and you got to pull out it's those boots best. or buy new boots. You yeah, wear heavier fun. socks, you know, mm-hmm. um, you get to wear that coat that you love that you forgot that you have. That's always like that such a fun favorite. surprise. I yeah. love pulling out the coats. Yeah. It's so much fun. And just- then there's like always something in a pocket and you're like, dang it. That's, I found my, <laughs> I just found my other AirPod <laughs> really? in my oh, coat pocket. Awesome. Merry it's, Christmas. Thank Merry you. Christmas. <laughs> I've had, I've had one AirPod. I've been limping along for like six months and I got out my. Hold on. So you're just using one. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad <laughs> it, you did that. Is it awesome? <laughs> <laughs> I just found the other one. <laughs> I got oh, out man. my I got out my fall coat and I was like, there we go. Oh, no. Yeah. Speaking of recipes, there's always though, something in the pocket. <laughs> I think like the there's so many we carry a lot of cookbooks. So there's cookbooks that like lend themselves to summer and they're like they're veggies and they're fresh and there's things that you're kind of bringing from the garden. But then you have like your fall ones like soups. I think and like I love yeah. having recipe books on my nightstand because I love looking at food. That's and I love dreaming soup. about that. I so didn't know that about you. Yeah, it's fun. Really cute. Anyway, so if you like recipes, don't be weary about putting them on your nightstand, but p- pull those out and like keep them out because people just go will to wander. bed so hungry. I can't, I find oh, I really? can't watch cooking shows oh my gosh, because I just want to go yeah. eat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm like, I, do I, the can't, same thing. I can't be eaten like that right I before know. bed. Yeah. I'm like, damn, you beat Bobby Flay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, dang it, I have diabetes. I'll have to take a shot if I start eating again. <laughs> Stare trying, at it. To, trying to calm my system down. Uh, yeah. But I do think it's fun to just like pull those out because I think it's like and put them available for your guests to start looking in that way when they come to your house Mm -hmm. they'll be like oh you just have the best inventory i get so inspired and i want to go you know prove that i'm alive in the fall you know Mm -hmm. i love that i think it's awesome that you read like recipes and like look at food it's funny because tom's the one that cooks but i just i love visuals i love visuals and i don't yeah the older i get the less like i'm just hungry for whatever like i want it to be amazing Mm -hmm. you know because you just i think your metabolism slowing down like i just am not i don't want to eat to eat but i want to eat if it's going to be great yeah Yeah. so my husband he cooks great or like i want to be inspired to like if i get a second to cook i want it to be great Mm -hmm. so yeah yeah i like that i've often heard it said i know this is true for me i bake and like my husband will grill or he'll mm-hmm. handle the meat kind of thing yeah. and I'll handle whatever goes inside the oven. Totally. And he'll do That's whatever's on are. top of the oven. Yeah. yeah. I'm making the apple pie. He's totally. making the tacos. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I love that. Um, you know what else I love about fall is, and Sue has like one of the best of these I've ever seen is a fire pit. 
Oh, and I feel like there's oh. just something about a fire and a hot dog Ooh. and, you know, some more chili. Yeah. It's and cold outside. It's freezing. But then you've got this fire going. You're all huddled close and you're talking. And that whole like moment is just like a snapshot. And I it's a it. desk and you're usually like wearing something warm. And yeah. gosh, we should have a bonfire and have yeah. apple pie. I feel like we we're should. manifesting. Yeah. That was also on Martha's like her online article today oh. was just like host a bonfire. Yeah, you should. Yeah. You have the biggest, huge, biggest fire situation and I've ever seen. And it's in the ground mm-hmm. and you use like real wood. So it really smells like fire and not gas. There's smoke. You smell like smoke a little bit afterward, but it's, yeah. it's so you it's should idyllic. To, you should have to wash your hair when you're I done. Know. You know, there's a horse or, back there. You didn't live. Captain Shining Stars just like roaming, roaming the grounds. It's Speaking really, of dopamine, like I know. nothing would make us more happy than I that. Know. Okay. We're going to put that on our fall calendar. Mm-hmm. Shoot. I also just remembered my, um, my fur blanket. Mm-hmm. We have these like faux fur ruched ivory throws. Mm-hmm. They're one of Neiman Marcus bestsellers as well as ours. I put that at the foot of my, my bed and my little cute doggy likes to get on it too. She likes to just like lay on the softest yeah. thing and like on the highest thing. Yeah. She finds the highest pillow and then sleeps on it. And there's just mm-hmm. something about a sleeping pup on top of that that yep. just makes me feel cozy feelings too I love that but I like to pull it up on me I also love an electric blanket yeah. <laughs> and I love watching <laughs> movies in bed okay yeah it's great because Adam's always hot I'm always cold what's your favorite fall movie speaking of like let's talk mm. about lifestyle we're oh, talking geez. about food you've got we're mail about, yeah. hello yeah, yeah. bouquet totally. of pencils yes hello. <laughs> <laughs> it is yeah. it is cool time. the best right all the rituals so she does all the rituals Ooh. and she's so charming and she's right walking through you. New York and the leaves are falling and, her, and it her, is darling. Her um, cadence, Little the way she walks. Pop, pop. <laughs> it's yeah. so cute. It's always an old movie in the fall. I feel yeah. like yeah. the it's things nostalgia. that are familiar to you, you kind of like sink down to your roots and you just want to feel good. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. I love that. I can't think of a better season, guys. Mm-hmm. Guys. Yeah. The very, very I best. also feel like um, I don't want a vacation in the fall. I just want to be home. Me too. I want to feel cozy. We're like yeah. in the summer, you're like, let's get out of here. Yeah. Or by the time it's like January in Utah, you're like, let's Shoot get out of here. Yes. Get me yeah. out of here. Where's the beach? Yeah. yeah. But in the fall, you're just like, let's go up the canyon, mm-hmm. but then let's sleep in our own bed because yeah. nothing's better. Yeah. It's so much fun. So good. Um, okay. Fashion. Should we talk about fashion really quick? Yeah. Um, this was interesting. Uh, this was a quote from Stitch Fix. They said, uh, top to toe color trends often come through us as a reaction to political and social and economic issues. The bold extravagant pieces that we're seeing across the 2022 runways are most likely a reaction to restraints we've all been under as a result of the pandemic. So back to the dopamine dressing. Yeah. Um, things that I've seen in fashion are the houndstooth. We've mm-hmm. seen a lot of sort of men's suiting for yeah. women and like everything's oversized. Yeah. We were, my husband and I were just on a little trip and we were trying things on. And he's like, well, this medium is huge on me. And I was like, yeah, it's because everything's oversized. Remember, remember when we were growing up yeah. and how the 1990s, yeah. everything was huge. Everything's huge right now. And he's like, well, really ill fitting. Am I supposed to buy a small, <laughs> you know, it's like a threat to his manhood. I'm like, well, shoot. Yeah. Or you can wear oversized, yeah. you know, but it's just like breaking his brain. Uh-huh. He's 49 for reference. Yeah. So, um, he's just not like wanting to adopt this new idea of wearing smaller yeah. clothes, even though they're really like the same size, Yeah. but the label is really tripping him up. It's funny. I know. I was trying stuff on the other day at a little local store and I, I came out and I'm like, is it supposed to look like this? And she's like, yeah. She's just like, you want to be big and baggy. And I'm like, oh, uh-huh. I look fat, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go, I'll go on this journey. Uh, <laughs> anyway. That's, awesome. that's uh, funny. Like yeah. wide leg jeans too are like totally. Yeah, skinny jeans are kind of out yeah. with the birds right now. Yeah, for sure. They're all on sale mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. So I had to say to my husband, up, 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 do not, I know they're on sale. Do not put them on because they're out. Yeah. You got to get straight legs for mm-hmm. men. I don't know that men are going to do the wide leg. Mm-hmm. Have you experienced that ever or in your flare. lifetime? I mean, these are like a little bit wider than I'm wearing straight right now. Leg. But yeah, that's yeah. straight. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you feel like rock and I've rollers said, have ever gone wide leg though? I feel like it's always just been like... In the 90s, for sure. Yeah. Don't like you late f- 90s, early 2000s. Wait, Jane also, Blossoms. don't you feel yeah. like um, Rolling Stones, what's his name? Mick Jagger. Jagger. Didn't he wear wide leg? Elvis did. He was 70. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Call. I don't know. Good call. Yeah. Beatles I, probably did it. No, Beatles were probably Beatles skinny. were skinny. Yeah. They were like, they were British. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like tailored suits and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 That's cute. Well, I think that, um, yeah, the, I feel like the, I have a couple pair of flare and I feel like they're way more flattering. They're like really they're a nice you. balance yeah. to your hips. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's like, that's the widest thing instead of your bum or your yeah. hips. I love it. That's yeah. my favorite jean on a girl. I'm just going to say like my wife has some like flared mm-hmm. and it just, it just accentuates curves. I yeah. feel like. They're yeah. Cute, you know? I think it's cute yeah. too. I really like it. Cool. Yeah. Oversized yeah. colors. I think, you know, the jewel tones yeah. we love. Definitely still a great movement toward camel and, you know, some of those cozy taupe, like those cozy mm-hmm. Warm kind tones. of natural sweater colors. Mm-hmm. But I do think people wear more color, I would say. Sure. I think fall. Gucci. You guys, I just barely yeah. saw House of Gucci on the plane the other day. I haven't seen and, it yet. But it just, even though like it was obviously kind of yesteryear when it was showing, but uh-huh. it made me think of Gucci and it made me think of those jewel tones and that saturation and pattern on pattern. And that's what I love. Give me that, that for too. fall. I think it's so, so such a mood, yeah. such a mood, such a mood is and right. Then and you posted a, a little clip of Audrey Hepburn mm-hmm. in one of her films coming on. She had this like persimony red, beautiful, thick tailored, but like oversized a line peacoat. And I don't know if it was a peacoat, but it was just, hat on. it was just the cutest. I was just like, I'm ready for layers. Yeah. I'm like officially ready. Yeah. Give me soups and give me layers. I'm, I'm here for it. I love it. Yeah. So good. All right, guys. I think we covered it. Talked about fashion, talked about trends, talked about decorating, lighting. We t- touched on our senses mm-hmm. and textures. Foods. Foods too. Yes. Yeah. That's how we get ready for fall. Anything else? Gosh. Just, just get so. out there. We covered it. Yeah. Enjoy the apple pie and enjoy Justice Fall playlist. Yes. We'll post those. Yes, we will. And we'll catch you next time. Did you know that you can shop some of the products we talk about on our show? Find Dear Alice under our collections tab at the alicelanehome.com website. And for our listeners, we have a special code for you. You can use, you can get 10% off anything online. Just code Dear Alice 10. That's D E A R A L. ICE 10. Happy shopping and thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for listening. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating. 